Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will continue our review for second quarter exam in pre-calculus. So the first questions, if x plus 2, 3x plus 1, and 6x minus 2 form an arithmetic sequence, what is x? So what we're going to do is to try you know, the uh, choices, the answer in the choices. Like for example, if our x is 1. Para mas uh, madali sa inyo, if our x is 1, so the first term will be 1 plus 2. The answer is 3. And then, okay, lagay mo na natin. So again, if x is 1, kung yung letter A yung sagot natin, if x is 1, so yung uh, term natin, isa-substitute natin dun sa lahat ng x. So 1 plus 2, that is 3. And then, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1, that is 4. Then, 6 times 1 is 6 minus 2 is 4. So, ganito yung magiging, ano natin, sequence, no? If your x is equal to 2, okay, if x is equal to 2, ito, letter C. So, 2 plus 2 is 4. Oh, dito naman, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1, 7. Then, 6 times 2, 12. Minus 2, 10. So, dito may pattern, no? Kasi may common difference sila, which is 3. So, itry natin yung letter B. So, kapag yung B, X is equal to 3. So, the answer will be 5. 3 times 3 is 9, 10. 6 times 3, 18. Minus 2, 16. Okay, so walang common difference yung 1 and 3. Same with letter D. So therefore, the correct answer here is letter C. X is equal to 1. Next, find the sum of the arithmetic series 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and 36. So ilan ba 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so, tama, no? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pala. So, kukunin natin yung sum nitong 8 na to. So, lagay natin series of 8. So, that the formula, gagamitin n over 2 times 2 times a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d or the common difference. So, yung common difference natin, so 12 minus 8, that is 4. Okay, that will be the... So, yung common difference is 4. Yung a sub 1 natin is 8. So, yung n, kung ilan lahat, so that is 8. So, substitute lang natin dito. So, 8 divide 2. 2 times what is a sub 1, that is 8. So, 2 times 8 plus... Yung n natin is 8 minus 1. So, that is 7 times yung common difference na 4. Okay. So, 8 divided 2, that is 4. 2 times 8, that is 16 plus 28. So, what will be the answer? So, 4 times. So, 16 plus 28, that is 44. Okay, so if we're going to multiply 44 times 44, that is 16. 4 times 4, 16, 17. So, 176. So, the correct answer is, is letter C. Next, evaluate the sum of the summation of 10 minus 5n from 2 to 6. So, we're going to get the sum of this from 2 to 6. So, 10 minus 5. So, ang una nating n is 2. Kasi start sa 2 eh. Okay. Plus 10 minus 5 times 3. Plus 10 minus 5 times 4. Plus 10 minus 5 times 5. Plus 10 minus 5 times 6. Okay. So, then... Simplify natin. So, this is 10 minus 10 plus, ito naman, 10 minus 15 plus 10 
minus 20 plus 10 minus 25 plus 10 minus 30. Okay. And then this is 0. So 10 minus 15, that is negative 5. 10 minus 20, that is negative 10. 10 minus 25, that is negative 15. 10 minus 30 is negative 20. Okay. So 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Negative minus 10, that is negative 15. Negative 15 minus 15, negative 30. Negative 30 minus 20 is negative 50. So the correct answer here is letter B. Next. Use the summation notation to write the series 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus up to 4 terms. Up to 4, 10 terms rather. So, if we're going to try yung letter A, so kapag sinaptitute natin yung 0 dito, 2 times 0, dapat 0 yung first term. A2 yung una. So, si letter A ay hindi agad. So, si letter B. Kapag sinaptitute natin yung 1 sa end, so 1 plus 2, that is 3. Since uh, 2 ito, so mali rin to. no Dapat 2 yun. Dito naman, pag sinaptitute natin yung 1 sa end, so, mali pa rin kasi dapat 2 ang una. So, dito, 2 times 1, so that is 2. So, tama. Kapag 2 naman, 2 times 2, 4. 2 times 3, 6. So, therefore, the correct answer here is letter D. Okay, next. Uh, this is the last question for, uh, for our review today. So, what we're going to do, of course, we're going to convert 315 degrees to radian. So, that is 315 degrees times pi over 180 degrees. So, ito mga cancel dito. So, ang 315 saka 180 ay pwede natin i-lowest term sa 45. If we're going to divide 315, divide 45, ang makukuha natin 7. Then, 180 divide 45, ang makukuha natin ay 4. Okay, kasi, uh, tama no? So, 4 times 45, that is 180. So, therefore, ang sagot natin dito is 7 pi over 4. And that is letter D. So, that will be the answer for our last question today.